Hi there and welcome to Yum Paleo. My name is Jack and today what we're going to be making is a paleo zucchini pie followed with a side of scrambled eggs. Now in the scrambled eggs it's just going to be a quick and simple it's like a breakfast meal so there's going to be got eight rashers of bacon here, got six eggs, we've got about 14 butter mushrooms here kind of medium sized and a punnet of cherry tomatoes and along with that there's one red pepper and one onion. So for the other side of things with the zucchini pie what I did was I've got six I had six small zucchinis and I just grated them up just like a cheese grater or so and then I got some I just drained them out so squeezed them out so they're kind of dry let them set for a bit and so all the moisture is out of those and I'm going to be mixing in three eggs with that and I've also got a third of a cup of almond flour so I'll be putting that all into the bowl mixing it through and then all of that mix will go into this dish here so I'm just going to line this dish with some olive oil just so it doesn't stick while it's in the oven now I have got the oven at it's about 175 degrees Celsius which is about 350 degrees Fahrenheit so I've just got that pre-baking there and so once we got all this mix ready it'll just go straight in that'll take about 30 minutes and when we get to about the 20 minute mark we'll get ready and start doing the scrambled eggs so and while that's in the oven I'm just gonna get all this stuff chopped up how you like it and then it can just be prepared and put into the pan so it's really easy meal to do great for breakfast like I said and we'll just get started on making the zucchini pie so I've got all my zucchini in there just crack three eggs into it and then goes the almond flour so I'm just gonna mix around this first of all actually I'm going to use I'm just gonna use a fork just to mix that that egg in slightly and then you can use your hands if you wish. So the egg is going to bind all this together. And just we're just going to make sure we squish it all down in the oven in the oven dish. Nice and tight, just so that when it comes out it should come out in nice slices and not all crumble apart. So just mix that through. Just going to add some like I said, I'm going to be quite generous with the pepper because I quite like pepper, so add to it as much as you want, really. And I'm going to put just a, a slight bit of sea salt and just continue mixing that through. And once you're happy with your mixture, we can start putting it into the oven dish. Okay, so I'm really happy with that mixture there. So I'm just gonna get this oven tray ready. So what I'm gonna do is just pour a tiny bit of olive oil in there and spread that around using this brush. So you can see you just get it around all the surfaces. You don't need too much. Use any kind of oil that you've got on handy. Just make sure it's paleo, of course. And once you've got that done, like so. Start to add in a mixture. Now, you, the good thing about this is you can improvise. So, if you make this one and you really like it, you can start to add different things into it. Okay, so now I'm just going to start flattening it out. Great. And what I'm going to do as well is just I've got a spatula here. I'm just going to start squishing it down just to make it nice and flat and just kind of condense it down so it's nice and compact down there. Okay. That looks really nice. So as you can see, it's holding its own. It's really compacted down. So I'm just going to check this into the oven for about, you can check on it halfway point, see how it's doing, as soon as it starts to brown up, 
it shouldn't be too long off, so I'm going to give it 25 to 30 minutes. So I'll see you in about 20 minutes when we can get the scramble ingredients done. So all I'm going to do is chop them up to small kind of bite-sized pieces and we can get ready to fry that. So I'll see you in about 20 minutes. Hi there and welcome back. So the pie has been in there for about 20 minutes now and it's starting to brown on the top which is really nice. So what we're going to do now is start on the scrambled eggs. So I've just got this pan here and I'm just going to add a wee bit of oil into that. So once that's heated up, I'm just going to chuck in the onions. And I'm also using a pan behind me just because I'm going to do the bacon separately and then add it in just because we've got quite a few ingredients and I think that this pan might be overloaded, so just want to make sure everything cooks nicely. Okay, so this is heating up nicely, so I'm just going to check in the onions. Make sure you get all those in. And we just want to lightly brown off these. Okay, so while those are in there, I'm just going to add in my bacon to the pan behind me, but before I do that, just check in another splash of oil. There we go. So I'll just be whizzing in between the two of them just to make sure when the bacon's finished I can put it into that pan there. Actually what I'm going to do now is add in the peppers for a bit just to let them cook through. So just give those a wee little cook through. Okay, so I'm happy with those and it's time to check in the mushrooms. So just put them all in. Now I'm going to add some more oil to this just because the onion and the pepper has kind of soaked through some of that. And mushrooms probably need a little bit more because they, they're kind of spongy so they absorb quite a lot of the oil. So like we did before, just mix them through, maybe turn up the temperature if you need to. Great, they're going great. So yeah, just keep going with this until you're happy with the mushrooms cooked and the bacon. Then add them in and then we'll get ready to put in the egg. Okay, so the mushrooms and bacon have cooked through, so before that I'm just going to add in those tomatoes. Stir those through, and I'm just going to grab the bacon as well to put them. Go on, just mix that through for a second. Now we can add in the egg. So just pour that in, and just give it another mix through. Okay, so I'm just going to stir this around for another few minutes and at that point the pie should be ready to take out, so I'll see you in a few minutes. Hi there and welcome back. So what I just did is I'd taken out the pie from the oven before and I just cut into it and I've just plated up one. But I'll just quickly show you, it came out really nice. So it's nice and golden brown on the top like that. And yeah, you might find it sticks to the bottom a bit, but don't worry too much about that. And I just served up a portion of the scrambled eggs as well. So there we have it. I really hope you enjoy that, and I'll see you here for another great recipe. See you soon. Mm -hmm.